Hi guys, it's Gina. Today I'm going to show you how I make homemade cornbread dressing, just like my grandma did. So first I'm going to start by putting a little oil in this pan and sauteing these onions and celery. So I went ahead and what I have here is three stalks of celery chopped up and then I have a, um, an onion, a large onion chopped up. And when I get this done I've already made a batch of cornbread ahead of time and I've gotten some bread that I've allowed to dry out in the oven and a few biscuits that I had left over and that's what I intend to use to make this dressing. You might not want yours chopped up as finely as this. Sometimes I do it a little um, more coarse than this. I got a little carried away today, I guess. Okay, so I've got these looking pretty translucent, so I'm going to turn the heat off of this. Now I've got a bowl out here and what I'm going to do is start crumbling up some cornbread in here. Alright, so I've put this full pan of cornbread in here and now I'm going to start adding some of this bread start crumbling it up in here and you don't have to get your breads as dry as I've got mine you can you can use them right out of the loaf but we kind of like them dried a little bit. Now, as you guys can see, I didn't use all of this bread, so it's basically to your taste. Okay, so I'm going to put this in here. Gonna add a few eggs. You can add two or three. I think I'm gonna go for three. I'm gonna start with two cups of chicken broth. salt and pepper that's to taste as well guys okay. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of sage
This is ground sage. But I have used rub sage. And I've went over just a little bit more than two tablespoons. But we're just kind of guesstimating here. So this is kind of dry, so I'm going to be adding some more broth to this. So I kind of like my dressing to be moist. And if you guys are making a turkey or chicken or something like that, adding the broth from that is good to do as well. So I'm wanting you guys to see more of the texture than anything so that you're not worried about the fact that it's I'm not measuring it exactly. Okay, so I'm going to taste this for seasoning, and that way I know if I need to add a little more sage or salt and pepper. And yes, I do. kind of like the taste of the sage so you guys may not like it to be as strong and that's fine and this is what it looks like and I'm fixing to add it to my pan So I'm going to lightly spray this pan. And then I'm going to pour some of this in here. And it may take another pan. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Ooh, looks like it's going to work. And then I'm going to put this in the oven and bake it for about 30 minutes. Put it on, I would say about 400, 375, something like that. Make it for about 30 minutes or until it's to the desired texture that you want and it'll be done. And I've got the oven set at 400 and I'm going to set the timer for 30 minutes and then we'll come back and let you see how it turned out.
And this is what we've got. Looks pretty good to me, but you might want to brown it just a little bit more according to your taste. If you like that video, please subscribe and ring that bell so that you can be informed when any other videos become available. And thank you guys for stopping by.